Hey there, Vince here, and welcome to another Circuit Rewind Quick Bug Report. And today, well, if you can't hear it already, I have a very loud screechy server sitting next to me, so I have to shout a little bit to overpower the volume of this thing here. Uh, if you're like me in the home lab community, you like to buy old used hardware on eBay or other, you know, recycler websites, or here in Seattle we have RePC where you can also go buy servers. One of the problems with buying used servers, though, is that the firmware is usually way out of date. So today I want to walk you through the process of updating the firmware on this Dell R630 that I just got in the mail today. There are some complications with doing this officially through Dell initially, so we have to use a little bit of a janky third-party method first, and then uh, from there afterwards we'll be able to go back to Dell and get all the latest firmware updates from Dell up until the last things that they published, and as far as I know they're not publishing anymore, but at least you'll get this thing five to ten years up to date, so let's have at it. Inside of the iDirect settings, go down to Update and Rollback. From here, select FTP, and then we'll look at the Update Your Dell website and copy over all of the settings that it mentions on that website. My server is a Dell R630, so that corresponds to the G13, or the 13th generation of servers. You can find out your generation from Dell's website or simply use the middle number of the model number, 630 being the 13th, for instance, or a 740 being the 14th generation. From here, select the iDRAC option from the list. Ignore what I did wrong, and don't worry about selecting any of the other updates at this time. From the Overview Server menu, you can select Job Queue at the top to see the list of current and past jobs the iDRAC has performed, including system updates. And unable to verify update package signature. Let's go back to the update page and change the catalog over to G13-2020-1223. Why is this needed? Well, it turns out that mid-generation for this line of server, Dell changed how they do their digital signatures for the firmware file updates. An older firmware cannot validate the newer signature, so we need to update to an intermediate firmware, which still has the old signature embedded in it, but also contains the new validation code for the updated signatures going forward. After the intermediate firmware is installed, we can return to the firmware update page and use the G13 catalog location just as we tried initially, and this time it will succeed as normal. And now for the final firmware updates. Dell has a few more newer ones on their website that isn't on the Update Your Dell website. To access these, return to the firmware update screen, select HTTPS at the top this time instead of FTP, and use downloads.dell.com as the address. Also note that you may need to interact with the machine's console to complete some of the updates. All right, I guess everything's up to date now. So um, at this point, have fun with your server. And until next time, I hope you have an awesome time. Later.